What is up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today we are gonna be checking out six different ways that I see people screwing up their layouts and their web designs or app designs, uh, the most common. And so what I'll show you is what I see people doing wrong and then I will show you I uh, fixes essentially. And some of them I'll show you, you know, several different methods of which you can fix these common layout problems. All right, so if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now, if you're interested in layout design, you might be interested in front-end development as well. So if that's the case, you should definitely check out the sponsor of this video, scrimba.com. They recently launched their front-end development career path, which is a collection of courses that cover HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and much, much more, as you see. It's over 75 hours of awesome content. There are hundreds of interactive coding challenges and it's all geared towards helping you go from beginner to someone that's hireable as a front-end developer. So click on the very top link here in the YouTube description and you'll get access to the front-end development career path for a low monthly fee. All right, so here's our first example. What exactly is wrong with this? This is a testimonial section that has a testimonials label and three cards underneath it. So I'm gonna show you how this can definitely be improved. And what I'm talking about specifically is the label. So sometimes you'll see on landing pages, you know, each section has a label like uh, testimonials, uh, services, whatever. Um, and there's ways that I, you should tackle that versus ways you shouldn't. And this is one of the ways I would say you shouldn't. And that is to encase the type or the label in a rectangle of some sort. Uh, I don't think this is ever the right approach uh, just because it's kind of boxing. Now you might say, well, what about these cards? Those are encased in containers, right? Well, they're low contrast for one. And I also just think if you just have one word, like a label or a few words, it doesn't make sense to put it in a box. So let's take a look at a couple different ways that you can handle this type of thing. Uh, when you, if you need a label, you want a label and you don't, know, you don't necessarily even need a label for this because the content uh, itself is pretty self-explanatory about what's happening. But if you want to label, all right, there you go. <laughs> Already better. I This just is unnecessary, um, unnecessary clutter. This much more simple and open-ended. Uh, you can also do a couple other things. Uh, for instance, I'm gonna take uh, a design I did on the other monitor and just paste this in, and there you go. And so with labels, you can do certain things like I, uh, you know, add these little borders. Uh, you can do things like that. But also you can finally, like I mentioned a little bit ago, just opt not to have a label. You know, these are testimonials. These would be people's faces, of course. You know, unique testimonials with the names. The context is there in the content. Uh, so we go from this to this, which is better. This is this works as well. This could be centered uh, if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be left in line. And then finally, this. I think all those iterations are better than this boxy approach. Next up, here's another example where sometimes you have two columns, and in one column you might have some text that's left aligned, or it may not even be text. It might be like a picture or a photograph. And then the second column you have type that is centered. And this just flow, throws off the flow of the layout in my opinion. And one way uh, that we can definitely improve that is by taking this and left aligning this type right there. So now you can clearly see because everything starts on that invisible sort of uh, vertical axis, it just gives more structure to the layout. So if you take a look at this one versus this one, it's definitely an improvement. Uh, so you don't want to mix and match alignment, especially when you have uh, you know, two adjacent elements or two adjacent columns. Um, another thing that you could do is you can reverse it. So for instance, um, if we take the original, and what I mean by reverse it is instead of making both of them left align, just make both of them center. So I uh, take this, center it as well, and this here is also consistent, which works. Another example, number three, high contrast, thick borders. I, I see this sometimes in, in different areas, sometimes on the hero section like this example. Um, this is just unnecessary right here. This adds unnecessary clutter. So how would we fix it? Well, I would just say remove it. <laughs> just remove it entirely. It serves no purpose, honestly. Uh, and in this context, it works much, much better if we look at this version where we just have this big old high contrast border that doesn't really serve any purpose versus this one. 
Now, if you wanna do the high contrast or, or if you wanna do a border of some sort, I, I, I would say in this context, maybe if you had like two columns, we could take this right here, we'll make it white and we'll also take the opacity down. So real light, thin, low contrast borders, I think are an option. You're gonna, then you could have some content over here to separate them. I, but when it comes to thick borders like this, where you're separating out content, never a good look in my opinion. All right, number four. So I see this often. You'll see like a section uh, of a landing page that has you know a clearly defined block, and then inside of it, high contrast cards of sort or, or big areas that are just kind of wrapped around this high contrast card, of, uh, as you can see here. So I think uh, we can definitely improve this one uh, in a couple of different ways uh, with some alternative options. So what we could do is get rid of that and we'll make everything white. And then also I'll take these just to reinforce that hierarchy. I will grab this color and maybe bring it up. And then we'll just give some white space around these areas. Maybe drag these two in just a second. There you go, do the same thing here. Just to give ourselves a little bit more white space. And I think this right here compared to this is much better. This is just unnecessary. We, what we have is we have two really high contrast elements sitting on top of each other. Um, and I think it's just unnecessary. This right here, it, it feels much more open. Um, you could also do something like this if we take the same example and um, we copy this. If you want, if you absolutely, for some reason, want to wrap something in inside of a container like this, then same kind of role as the borders, just make them low contrast. So for instance, we'll take this, so we can go a little bit darker, maybe give it a little bit more room. So you could do this, although personally, I would opt for this route just because it's much more simple, but I would not go this route for sure. All right. Another example that I see often, and this is in a portfolio section and you have your project thumbnails and they're just screenshots of the actual interface or the mobile app interface or whatever. And there's text all over it. It is so freaking cluttered and it just does not look good. So we can drastically improve this one. So the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna take this background and we're gonna make it white. That's already an improvement. Um, and the reason that is an improvement, uh, if we compare these two, you'll see that uh, there are certain areas like based on this thumbnail that don't contrast well with the other color. They're too similar to each other and they just don't look good. Um, so changing that to white is an immediate improvement, but we could still improve this much, much more. So what we wanna do is we wanna use different th thumbnails. Um, try to think outside of the box, think about how you can really present these in the manners I'm about to show you. So here's uh, an alternative route. Uh, yeah, there's some type in here, but not much, and it looks interesting. It's not just a screenshot. Here's another one. There we go, so it's somebody holding a phone, showing, maybe you could show the app in here. There's plenty of templates that you can uh, use to do that, like Photoshop templates, um, and maybe if it's an identity project, you know, you're featuring the logo in some unique real world uh, atmosphere. So if we compare these to these, oh my God, it's like, it's it's world apart in terms of the quality. This looks, <clears throat> this right here looks far superior than this. All right, and last but not least, I also see I this done quite frequently. We'll have a series of cards, but then we just don't have consistent proper alignment. Uh, and so I'll show you two iterations that we could work uh, with this differently. So the problem here is we have centered icons, but these two elements are not centered. Uh, they're left aligned. So we can either center these elements so they're all centered, or we can left align the icon so everything's left aligned. So let me just show you an example real quickly. So I'm gonna grab all these, and then we'll just push them over here. We're gonna drag them up, and then we'll grab all these. We'll push them up and then finally get that unnecessary white space at the uh, bottom fixed up. 
All right, so if we take a look at this compared to this, this has much more of a structured flow inside of the layout, in the layout and whole. And when you just look at them from a macro perspective, this is much a lot more like pleasing to the eye. Um, another thing we could do, and this is just me having fun at this point, uh, you could take these. Let's make them each large. So I'll put this one right here, this one right here, this one, oops, this one over here, and then finally this one right here. And we could take these. And there we go. So just different options here. Um, the, the moral of the story here, keep your alignment consistent, especially in uh, components, you know, small components like cards. Uh, don't try to mix and match your alignment because it'll just really, th it'll just throw off the flow of the layout overall. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that. You learned something new. Let me know what you think. Or there's probably about 100 other things people do wrong commonly, but these are the things I see that are most often or most prevalent among aspiring UI designers. So anyhow, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>